thank you for watching and listening. Uh, let's talk about something, a good memory. Okay, a good memory I had, it has always been related f to food. And when I was in primary school, even though I was heavily abused, just like other classmates, the food at Ceiling Primary School was that good because there's this machi that's a Malay for auntie. Her, f her food is just so good. You know those fish ball cooked in chili sauce? Okay, I remember when my when I still had a good relationship with my brother, we tried to recreate that recipe because it's so good and she only sell one fish ball for what, 10 cents or things like that. And we could not create her recipe. I really wonder where that machi is. Um, she's very generous and her food, of course, at primary school, the food was very cheap. And it's not only the fish ball cooked in chili, uh, in chili sauce that tastes good. Everything that she sold was good. And her mee soup, which is a noodle soup, yellow noodle, egg noodle in soup. I remember she used to actually um, boil the noodles in the stock, the soup stock itself. So I understand now where the flavor, why it was so good. Because the noodle wasn't just boiled in uh, plain water, hot water. It was boiled in a soup stock. And then after that, she pour, uh, took it out and then she will pour the actual soup stock into the bowl. I think it was 30 cents or 50 cents, is it? 50 cents? You can buy a 50, small portion or a big portion. It was that good. And her hamburgers. She was the first person that I know of ever that actually pan fry her bun first. So the, 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 she would uh, butter the bun and pan fry it. And half a bun, uh, half a burger is 50 cents. One whole burger is $1. It's considered a luxury to get that. But it was so delicious. It's better than Rumbly Burger. It's better than any other burger I've tasted in my entire life. So those who went to Ceiling Primary School during the 90s, 90s, uh, you know that machi I'm talking about, right? Even her nasi lemak was so good. Something about her sambal, her ayam goreng kunyit, uh, which is a chicken fried thing, uh, turmeric chicken, fried turmeric chicken it was so good her food was delicious you know we we're willing to queue that long just to eat her food so and i remember the highlight was recess time was the highlight even though she that evil teacher kept releasing us late food was the best highlight you know because things was a bit cheaper back then you didn't get um uh, it's possible for you to get whatever money that the stepmother because she had such a control over the money right whatever money she gave us or whatever money we managed to collect from the Hari Raya all this the New Year festivities from the houses we visited we used that money to buy uh, to buy snacks and stuff like that so that machi is the best and I remember she even uh, occasionally not every day uh, not every day she would sell goreng pisang. So crunchy and the pisang was so soft and sweet on the inside. And she had uh, jumbo jumbo uh, pisang which is um, banana frit... Uh, yeah, it's banana fritters. It's different than goreng pisang. Goreng pisang is a whole banana uh, dipped in, uh, in batter and then fried. Jumbo jumbo is mashed banana. Uh, you added flour and whatever and then you fry it. So it's like uh, banana balls so good and her onde 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 is basically glutinous rice balls with uh, gula melaka brown sugar inside my god just talking about it i'm already smiling the food was so good that was the highlight of uh, going to school okay after getting humiliated mentally abused emotionally abused verbally abused physically abused the food just thinking about the food just going to eat just thinking about what you want to eat uh, during recess and after school was just a major highlight. Because that's how good the food was. And uh, of course, we have the snack aunties selling ice cream, selling sweets and stuff. Uh, and then the, <laughs> the ice cream auntie is a bit unhygienic. <laughs> because when she scoop, scoop the ice cream, right, she used her thumb to press <laughs> Press the ice cream down. <laughs> the extra flavoring, extra seasoning. And uh, you know those old school candies, the golden wrapper one. It's like a sour plum candy wrapped in a golden wrapper. Uh, the chocolate coins. Those, those were the memories. 
generally the school food tend to be that good but the primary school one was the best and then the next best one i would say in secondary school the nasi briyani because 250 is considered expensive for me and uh whenever i have enough money i would uh or when i have cca after school activities i would sit alone by myself to eat and then the school bullies the faris the up uh, the senior malay boys who are a bunch of bullies will start mocking me and standing behind me making fun of me because i was always alone and the thing was because my house was too far for me to go back and come back to go home and come back to school within an hour it was too far for that uh so i would occasionally save up money so can be, i could eat the nasi brani so by the uncle uh, when he wasn't the first few store owner at the secondary school i think when somebody else when the store closed down he took over his briyani was so good it was $2.50 was considered expensive for me but it was like considered a delicacy because we hardly go out anyway the money was a bit tight on us but yeah so what are your favorite memories of school time and for me it's usually the food <laughs> thank you for watching and listening